Hi, this is Russ Ratchin with the Teradata Field Applications team, and I'm going to be giving a quick demo of the Graph Analysis Guided Analytics Interface. In this demo, I'm going to be playing the role of a Teradata Bank business analyst interested in creating graph analytics-based customer segments as part of a targeted marketing effort for our auto loans division. So what is it that graph analytics and this popcorn ball of data can tell us that other types of reporting and analytics cannot? Well, graph analytics is especially good at helping us understand the relationships between different data points, products, individuals. In this case, we're looking at a payment graph composed of individuals making payments to other individuals and to businesses, specifically mortgage loan lenders and auto loan lenders. In this demo, we're going to look at some graph analytics produced clusters that are tying some of these individuals and businesses together through their payment history in order to help us build these customer segments. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do is jump up here to node search and start typing in Teradata. And here we see Teradata Bank Auto. That's us. I'm going to click on that node. And here we are. What we see is Teradata Bank Auto surrounded by all of the individuals who are directly making payments to the Teradata Bank Auto Loans Division. Basically, these are existing customers. And as such, they aren't particularly interesting as a customer segment in this effort because they're already customers. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this button right here, which is going to take us out one more hop. So you saw a bunch more little circles appear on the screen. These little circles are all individual customers of Teradata Bank as a whole, but not necessarily auto loan customers of Teradata Bank. All of these new individuals have a payment connection to direct customers of Teradata Bank auto loans. So these are potentially very good candidates for a targeted marketing effort. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Legend and then I'm going to pull down this legend group to auto lender. And here we see all of the different auto lenders that are being paid by Teradata Bank customers. I'm going to hide all of the current Teradata Bank auto customers. And now we're going to only see individuals that are part of Teradata Bank, but don't have an auto loan with Teradata Bank. We can also go ahead to node type and hide all of the other businesses. So we're just left with actual individuals. From here, I can click on view data and we're going to get a list again of all of the individual accounts who are two hops away from existing Teradata Bank auto loan customers, but are not actually auto loan customers of Teradata Bank. Again, probably a pretty decent uh, marketing segment. I can click on create target list and this will build a table consisting of these individuals in the database and this data can then easily be fed into your marketing application. Let's now take a quick look at another way that we can build customer segments using the clusters that are generated as part of our graph analysis. I'm going to flip over here back to our visualization I'm going to exit the neighbor view and I'm going to show all the nodes. And here we are back to our initial visualization. I'm going to jump back to the Teradata Bank auto node and scroll down a bit. And right here we can see that this node is part of modularity class 11. The clusters generated through graph analysis in this interface are done so through modularity and each class is a different cluster. So let's go back to a view of all of the data. And then here in the legend, we can flip to modularity and we can make visible only modularity class 11, which includes our Teradata Bank auto node. We can also switch over to colors here and we can color the nodes by node type, yellow being personal or individual accounts, pink being mortgage loan lenders, blue being auto loan lenders. And let's change the border color to modularity. In this case, modularity is the same for all of these, modularity class 11. 
we go back over to show hide, just as we did before, we can click on auto lender and we can remove from this visualization all of the current customers of Teradata Bank's auto loan division. And we can also remove the mortgage loan lenders and the auto loan lenders. Once again, we're left with a list of individuals who are closely tied to Teradata Bank's auto loan division through graph clustering, but are not existing customers. Again, potentially a good list of target candidates for Teradata Bank auto loans. Again, we can click view data and create a target list. So there you have it, a couple of ways to create targeted customer segments using graph analytics that are really relatively difficult, but are made easy for business analysts using the Teradata Graph Analysis Guided Analytics Interface. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.